do you market against the bad reputation and build a client base when you're competing against these you know, commercials that I, I feel really probably only help build the bad reputation? So how do you build your client base without coming across as an ambulance chaser? Fantastic question. Um, so, and that's something that Aaron and I have spent an amount of time that we can't even begin to articulate working, working on. And, and, and the answer is this. It starts with how you treat your clients, first of all, okay? Our, our business philosophy is we try to be something like the Nordstrom's of the personal injury world. Client is always right, period. If we have to waive a fee because a client's being unreasonable, we'll do it. It doesn't matter. Um, making the client feel as though we truly have their best interest in mind rather than the bottom line and the dollar at the end of the day, that's where it starts. From a public perception standpoint, um, we have tried to focus the way that we put ourselves forth in the public as educators rather than personal injury lawyers. We care very, very deeply about having every person that makes contact with us walk away better off than they were when they called us. We will take the time to educate them, answer all their questions, even if we know that we're about to spend 30 or 45 minutes on a case that we're never going to take. Or two hours. Or, or two hours. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to do it because that's what we tell people we're going to do. So practice what you preach. We're actually uh, interested in trying to build the opposite of the TV personal injury law firm because uh, I think, unfortunately, most people who get seriously injured are in a bit of a dilemma. You know, do I call a sleazy injury lawyer or do I try to deal with the insurance companies alone? And most of them who try to do it alone call us at about the year and a half mark and they're freaked out. And there's some things we can't fix at that point, unfortunately. And um, that's a shame. And so it's really a, a disservice to the public that, that there's that hesitation. So by providing a resource, you know, our ads are not on TV. We have a, a spot on NPR. We have content on our website that's written by PhD level university professors who have taken the time to research every single nook and cranny of what a brain injury is and how it works. You know, and so by putting ourselves out as an educational resource to people, we're hoping to maybe provide an alternative narrative, at least in Austin, Texas. I mean, we're in a small area, but that's all we can do.